Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Don and welcome back. You are watching VR Gamer Dude or today once again should I say AR Gamer Dude because we're going to be busting out the in real light glasses to check out a couple of cool augmented reality apps. But before we do, if you don't mind doing me a solid, look down in the corner and smash that subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get notified the next time I do something cool in AR or VR. And with that said, on to the video. So you guys are starting to see these pop up more and more in my videos and that's because I'm starting to use them more and more because we're finally seeing some pretty cool stuff releasing for the in real light. Now I know there's other augmented reality systems out there. Obviously the big boys get to play with HoloLens. I could never afford $3,000 for a computer that you wear on your head. So I, I do want to thank InReal once again for sending these glasses. That is why you see these predominantly. I would love to show you guys more AR, but currently this is the only setup I have. I've been getting that question. So um, in today's video, we are going to take a look at two more apps. Uh, as new apps become available, I, I do want to show you guys what is currently out there for AR and for in real in specific. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at a game which is Magician Mastery and it is a full game you can play. It even has some local multiplayer. You can play with a friend if they have a smartphone. Um, and then we're going to be taking a look at something that I just found to be too damn cool and that is an augmented reality maps demo using the 3D mapping technology from Bing. Uh, and and put it on a tabletop in AR so you can kind of check out all the little buildings in New York or you know even your own hometown. So I can't wait to show these two uh, to you. So let's go. All right, here we are. We're in Magician Mastery. The board is set and we are ready to play. So all that's left to do is to hit new game. Now to speed this up a little bit, I'm going to come down to two players. You can't actually have four camps here. Um, and I am going to be playing single player tonight. Now it does have multiplayer guys. Um, the problem with that is, is, is that currently it is relegated to local multiplayer, which means you throw a marker down on the floor. That's going to set the tabletop. And then one person can play in the in real light glasses. And then another person can play on the phone. It's kind of a shame because my good friend Eric Hartley, you guys know him, E minus, he, he's great, man, and he is literally a wealth of knowledge when it comes to AR and VR, and we were going to play this together because we both love what's going on with some of the AR stuff now, and unfortunately, it wouldn't allow it you know you only have the local multiplayer so hollow games man put in some proper multiplayer that would have been really cool for me and eric to be able to play him in california and me here in missouri just saying so aside from that let's go let's click new game here all right and there we go the table's building so like i said normally you'd have four camps just to speed up the turns here i, I went ahead and set it to two I'm go ahead and drop my dice here all right four and bring out dr strange here and we're going to give him the holy grail and you know you guys have heard me say it before, I've always loved third person miniature stuff, especially in VR, and now I'm really, really digging it in AR. I mean, this is just awesome. So, all right, bring out my sorceress. No, actually, I'm gonna make my sorcerer go farther before I bring anybody else out on the board. And hopefully, We'll, we'll meet up here at some point so we can do a little dueling. Two, boo. All right, we'll go ahead and bring her out. Give her some demon blood. Okay. Ah, six, there we go. All right, I'm gonna take my sorcerer further up the road here. Once I'm 
somebody to fight. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now these guys are going to fight. And this is where things get kind of fun. Nice. Sweet. I'm going to hit you with some magic missiles, son. Take two off. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bring it. Aha. Can't get past my magic globe. Oh, oh, he won the draw. Man, the effects are really cool. Aha! How oh, did he get through my rock? Damn, he did. Surrender never. Oh man, not good. That'd be cool if the dice fell all the way off the table onto the floor, uh, since the in real does map all that. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go. There's a six. I'm out of magic points, though. I got nothing. Sweet. He didn't get me, though. So it looks like now we're just both down to a fire spell and a shield. So this might take a bit. All right, cool. Now he's out of magic too. And oh, now now the computer's just rolling. We're just slugging each other. So I'm not even doing that anymore. It's like the computer took over, I guess, once we both ran out of magic. Oh, I have been defeated. So, all right, guys. I think once we get back to the board, we'll probably cap this one here. You guys get the gist of this. The game will run long. I, I'm really not wanting to record an entire game of this, but uh, definitely cool. And, and I'm sure there's more to it than what we've seen here, as I just haven't played long enough. But, all right, so Magician Mastery, I really dig this. Nice little tabletop game. Awesome. All right, now let's move on to maps. All right, so here we are in 3D maps for Unreal by Mixed World. Now, this one you're not gonna find on the Play Store just yet. I did find this on the Unreal Developer Slack channel. Uh, so obviously, if you have Unreal glasses, um, I'll leave a link to the Slack channel. You just need to join. Uh, there is no real requirement to join other than you want to learn more about in real. So um, you can see this is a, a detailed 3D view of iconic places in the world. Uh, they have some places preset like the TV Tower, New York City, Golden Gate Bridge, and the Colosseum in Italy, and then the Space Needle in Seattle, or something that just came in in a recent update because I hadn't seen it before tonight, is find my place. So you can actually zoom right into your hometown now. Uh, you can have it on a cylinder or you can have it on a block. Um, I kind of prefer the cylinder. And uh, you can grab the map and you can move it. So, I mean, you can really explore little 3D cities this way. And obviously, as it is with all AR, I can just walk right up to it. I can zoom it in, I can zoom it out. So very, very cool. So I'm not gonna spend a ton of time. I can take my menus and kind of get them out of the way here so we can really focus on that. Uh, but I am gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, zoom into a few different places here. Um, so we're gonna jump across the pond over to New York and give it a second here for it to render that out. Uh, just like all the other 3D maps, it does take a second, especially in this one. Um, now, 
I'm not gonna lie, I, this is using Bing Maps and TomTom. I really wish it was using Google Maps because, you know, after seeing Google Earth VR, oh man, I couldn't even imagine if I could literally zoom right down into this scene, like super, super close, and actually get into Street View here, which you, you kind of can. Um, I mean, I can really get down in the buildings here. Now I feel like I'm Godzilla. <laughs> so cool. Uh, but, you know, definitely on a much larger scale. Um, so we can scale that back here and boom. So, you know, like I said, there's New York. Um, we can go over here. Let's go to the Golden Gate. I just love that, how it zooms out and then like zooms back in. Such a cool feature, or cool, cool effect, I'm sorry. And there we go. Actually driven across that bridge when I lived in California. It was very iconic. Um, and there you have it, folks. So I'm telling you, I mean, it, this is the kind of stuff that blows my mind. I mean, little games are one thing. But 3D mapping is super useful. All right, nobody look. I'm going to find my place here. Yep, yep. No, nope, we're going into Springfield, Missouri. All right, there we go. All right, you guys didn't see that. I'm going to zoom it out before it actually shows my neighborhood. But yeah, okay, there's the high school. I mean, that's literally right down the street from my house. That is freaking me out. I mean, first we get Flight Simulator 2020. I mean, obviously this isn't Flight Simulator 2020 by any means, but man, all this photorealism in the 3D maps these days is insane. And even some like topography here, uh, you can see, I mean, it's actually got the contours of hills and valleys and things like that. I mean, maybe you can't see it because you're watching it on a 2D screen, but I'm seeing all this in 3D, guys. This is nuts. I mean, I don't know. I could spend hours just exploring the Earth. I mean, just literally exploring the Earth in augmented reality and 3D. And there we have it. But kind of going back to what I just said a minute ago, the, the, the Google Maps would be so much more detailed. Bing Maps are neat. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks okay, but Google Maps, man, you can't beat that. So, all right, I guess we'll jump out and I'll give you guys a few final thoughts. All right, so I gotta say, both of those apps were great in their own ways. So obviously we've got the game first and foremost. You know, I'm a gamer, so I always gravitate towards the games and Hollow Games has done a really good job with Magician Mastery. I mean, it is super cool. It's a little tabletop, you've got board game elements, you've got role playing elements. Uh, you know, Hollow Games, keep it going, man. Keep development on this game going. I think you really have something cool here. Now, now, I will kind of dig on you for a minute. Put in that multiplayer. It would have been really cool if I could have played this with my friend Eric out in California. I, I don't know anybody that's going to want to come over here and hold their phone. I mean, when they see it in the glasses, who's going to want to play it on the phone? Obviously. So, and then Mixed World. Guys, the maps are insane. This is great. I, this is the stuff I always thought AR would be, is like navigation and maps and things like that. And being able to explore the world in augmented reality with, with seeing full 3D little tabletop cities, that's nuts. I love it. So, definitely keep going. And if you are an AR app developer and you already have an app that is close to completion or is complete and you have the recording capabilities built in, hit me up. I'd love to showcase your work right here on my channel. But for me, guys, tonight, that's going to do it. Thank you so much, as always, for watching to the end of this video. If you made it this far, you know I love it when you make it this far because, well, you know, I mean, it means you watched my video. And if this was your first time coming by, I know I said it in the beginning of the video this time because I'm really wanting to make that push, but please smash subscribe and ring the bell for me. That way you get notified the next time I do something cool in augmented reality or virtual reality. I got some cool VR stuff coming up too. Other than that, I can't think of anything else to say, guys. I'm out, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.